Well, we've just spent a magnificent night camped on the river here at Trilby Station, and I thought I'd catch up with Liz this morning, have a little chat, and find out what there is to do around here. Right, well, it's, it's 320,000 acres, Macca, so we've got river country and then red soil further out. So pretty much all our visitors, particularly the ones who stay two nights, take um, the mud map with them, which is interpretive notes, um, to drive them out along the property. So you can have a bit of a peek and a poke around, um, seeing what we do here. Um, if there's any seasonal work like shearing or crutching or goat mustering happening at the time, you can have a sticky beak. Um, there's an old homestead out on the map, on the drive, which is set up the way it was in 1965. So, you know, books in the bookshelf, medicines in the medicine cupboard. Um, it's just a, you know, a typ typical 1950s house, which is really quite interesting to look at. Um, we've got old steam engines, because they used to farm here in the 1800s. So, all that sort of thing. And then people with kids, well, kids love to poke around that sort of stuff, but they also like to canoe and to fish, catch yabbies and cook them on an open fire. So just, all those yeah. experiences that yeah. people would love their children to have right here at Trilby. True, yep. They can get unconnected from their technology. Disconnected is the word, I think, <laughs> from their technology. You know, we do have mobile phone coverage, but it's great for kids to just get out in the dirt and play, you know, climb trees, make cubby houses, sit around the fire. Um, it's just, it's you know, just really refreshing. And city families, um, the parents say that they just love it. And the kids, when they arrive, particularly maybe teenagers, think, oh, what are we going to do? Yeah. Um, but they do really enjoy it. And so you're welcome to come and watch what's happening around the station yes, as well? Yes, definitely. We can't have anybody involved in any farm activities, but they're definitely welcome to come and watch what's going on. So, you know, sometimes people are here and we might only be fencing 150 k's out and the guys have gone at four in the morning. So, you know, they're not going to want to be involved. But if we're shearing or crutching or trucking sheep or landmarking or whatever, we welcome people to come and have a look. Nice. So is there any crutching going on at the moment? Because I could do it with a bit of a tidy up. <laughs> I had mine done the other day. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> In fact, if you had been here yesterday before yesterday, we were shearing. So. Oh, good. I could have got my back done. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how much they would have got for it in Italy, but uh, probably very big in Oxford Street. <laughs> uh, at, the, at the moment, you know, it's very dry, as you can see. We haven't had rain for a long time, so we're hand feeding sheep. So that's an interesting concept for people to see. Um, we're feeding cotton seed and barley and lupins and things like that. So it's um, while it's very dry, people do enjoy coming along and seeing exactly how you manage in you know, really hot weather over summer, uh, in drought. Uh, and then they say, always say, well, we'll come back after you've had good rain and we'll see what it looks like when the grass is you know, so high you can't see out the window of your car. And why wouldn't you? Yeah, true. Yeah. Now, I'm hearing a bit of a buzz on the street that there might be something exciting happening in the region as well for tourism. What's that? Oh, I'm really wrapped about this. Dunlop Station, which truly was part of Dunlop when it was a million acres back in the early 1900s, are finally opening to the public. Oh, right. Mm, just for weekends, um, weekends, public holidays from Easter. Um, Dunlop was the first station in the world to do mechanical shearing. It was a million acres uh, and Trilby was of course part of that. So fantastic history up there with the, the shearing shed and the old store and the, the back blacksmith shop and the homestead and just it's going to be really interesting and people for you know our tourists here for probably the last 20 odd years have been saying can we go and have a look at Dunlop. Um, but it's you know it's not on our property, so now it's just uh, yeah, opening to the public, and um, Kim's going to be really run off her feet with that on weekends. It's going to be great. So uh, people can now time it, so they can time a stop at Dunlop on the, over the weekend or a long weekend, yes. and then make their way here to Trilby. True, we're only 10 k's down the river, so um, Kim is going to have some campsites as well. Um, but otherwise, if people want a you know a hot shower and you know washing machine and a few more mod cons, they can be staying here. It's a five minute drive up the river. Can we go and check out Dunlop? Definitely. All right. Well, while we go and check out Dunlop, why don't you put it on your bucket list?